G'day guys, today we're going to make some char cloth. Fantastic little project is really easy to do and it's great for anybody who's into bushcraft, medieval reenactment or any of those kind of LARP that is live action role play or the Society of the Creative Anarchism or the SCA. That's all coming up. Alrighty guys, let's make some char cloth. Char cloth. Ideally you're wanting to use fabric such as linen or cotton, something like that. Um, ideally it, it doesn't want to have any kind of synthetic qualities at all. So no polyester, no poly cotton, no anything like that at all. So all of those kind of fabrics are are not very suitable. Next thing you want to do is um, select your fabric. So a really simple way to check that is to burn the edge, do a burn test. Now you can see that's burning nicely, cleanly and there's no melting. So what that means is there's nothing synthetic about this fabric. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this fabric into fairly small strips. Roughly speaking, um, I use about four inches, so 10 centimeters wide, by roughly speaking 20 centimeters long, something like that. Um, now the advantage of char cloth is it burns so incredibly easily and it's a great fire starter. So when uh, I pack a lot of this stuff into my tinder pouch and that way um, I, I carry my tinder pouch with me onto medieval events and the reason that I do that is because it's, it's always really important to me to be able to light a fire um, uh, it's just such a massive morale boost even when it's raining um, when it's cold and wet and everyone's miserable you can always have a, a really nice fire and once you've set up your tents and your encampment then you have this um, really great kind of social gathering point. Um, how do you guys see your fires when you do renaissance fairs or medieval festivals? I'd like to know. Leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. Do you guys use char cloth? Now there is a moss which is an alternative to char cloth. Um, I can't remember the name of it specifically but it's a European moss and again it, it holds the flame really really well. The problem is that for a country like Australia it would just be terrible for the environment uh, if that cloth, were, if that moss was to be, become wild I guess because um, we, we have such a massive problem with, with bushfires and stuff as it is. Okay, alright, diverging away on conversations. What is the next thing that we do with this radio? We place this into a metal tin and put a hole in the tin. So let's do that. Alrighty, so I now have a very basic resealable food can. Oh, we've all seen these. Now what I do is I place my cloth uh, inside the can. Now I just, I just do it really in any old fashion. You don't need to be particularly neat about this I don't think. No one's <laughs> no one's getting marks for neatness here I tell you. Alright. Um, there we go. Alright. Now we've placed that in, we've sealed the lid. Now what I'm going to do is I punch a hole in the top and this is a ventilation hole.
There we go. That was a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. Okay, now what I'm going to do is place this into an open fire for around about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes, just to allow the um, char cloth to form properly. So let's uh, let's have a look at the char cloth. So as you can see, this is now super delicate, but quite cool. And I'm just going to cut that up into little strips and leave that in my tinder pouch so that I've got that ready access next time I want to light a fire. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.